In this program, we review some basic ideas in mathematics. You may be familiar with these ideas, but you need to be sure about them, as they are fundamental building blocks for what's to follow in a course of mathematics for economists. A clear grasp of these basic concepts is very important for what's still to follow. We're going to look later at concepts which build upon these basic building blocks. But even with these basic ideas, you can see how we can use them to understand some economic issues. How do people make decisions when the future is uncertain? How do governments make investment decisions and so on? So even these basic concepts are of value to us in understanding economic ideas. To better understand fractions and decimals, we've come to a small town in the Rocky Mountains where fractions and decimals are at the heart of the local economy. That's because the heart of the local economy here is gambling. So Steve, can you give us an idea of the place we're in and uh, what this place is about? Sure, this is uh, Central City, Colorado. It's uh, about 40 miles straight west of Denver. Um, it's an old mining, gold mining town, once known as the richest square mile on earth. In the mid-1800s, it was uh, a major gold mining mecca. All these buildings, for the most part, built at that point to support the gold rush. Do you get the impression that most of the people that do this gambling come having a very good idea of the odds, or do they just come and blindly hope? You know, I, my sense is there's a lot of blind hope. But in the end, the average guy has to lose. Somebody's got to cover the costs of uh, providing the casinos. You're absolutely right. Um, casino gambling is, is, is a loser's proposition. Nine out of ten players on any given session will go home a loser. You're really looking for the big hit, and that's why people come back. People gamble for many reasons, and in many places. Some gamble here in casinos. For others, it's by purchasing lottery tickets. For still others, it's the stock market. How do people make decisions as to whether to gamble or not? When they gamble, how do they calculate the odds? because calculating the odds gets you a chance of improving your chances of winning. The odds are that you're still going to lose, but you've got a better chance. You're less likely to lose quickly if you can calculate odds. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, ideas about probability. Um, if we cut the cards, uh, what are the chances that uh, it's going to be red? 50-50. Uh, uh, right. 50-50. And it was. What are the chances of cutting uh, a spike? Well, we've got 13 out of 52. Correct. Right. Correct. I haven't a clue. <laughs> Let's just cut them. Huh. <laughs> Slide a hand. <laughs> now let's just try it again, just for okay. close. I, I couldn't figure that out with a calculator. <laughs> now that's quite tricky because we can't just say four chances of this being a thing. Correct. 
I have. <laughs> what chance have we got that that's the order of those four? Slim and none. Correct. If it was the half, there's now a one in three chance, so that's the half. If it was, there's a one in two chance, so that's the half. That's what it is. It's a big step in the half. Mm-hmm.